Hey Cancer, this is you versus them. This is for October 31st through November the 8th. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I'm using two different decks for you guys. I know I don't uh, always call out the decks, but I've seen certain comments about like what decks I use. A lot of them I don't remember because I put the boxes away somewhere else, so I don't necessarily remember the names of them. But being that these are at the top of my list, I do know that the Spellcaster's Tarot is the one that I use most often. It is my favorite deck thus far. And um, the Steampunk Tarot is my next favorite deck. So I'm going to use the Steampunk for them. And then we're going to go ahead and get started with the Spellcasters for you. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please check out my website at pinkarianjim.com. All right, guys, without further ado, let's see what your feelings were about this relationship with this person. <clears throat> Cancer's feelings about the relationship with this person. Let's see. Cancer's feelings about the relationship with this person. How did Cancer feel about the relationship with this person? Page of Wands. I think you were waiting for this person to open up. It's like you were always waiting for them to really just kind of show themselves. You wanted to see them. You wanted to see who they really were. This fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Feeling more Leo than anything here. Could be Sagittarius. But yeah, let's see. Have this. Okay. King of Swords. Hmm. They felt like they were always being analyzed. And so they always took this standpoint of um, not really coming from the heart, but really trying to figure out what their next move was for you, for the purpose of showing you what they wanted you to see. Um, the King of Swords can come across kind of cold. I feel like this person is like caring, but they worked way too hard to show you what they felt like they wanted you to see. And so that gave you the sense that you didn't really know them, that you were always like trying to peel back layers with this person is what I'm getting. Um, here we have Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. What's currently happening with Cancer? What's currently happening with Cancer? The lover's energy. Gemini energy. Wow. Okay. I, I feel like a lot of you guys have put the power into this person's hands um, about whether or not you guys will actually get back together. For some of you, others of you, um, you're, you're kind of trying to make a choice between two people, maybe the person that you really have a lot of love for, maybe someone new, but I, I feel like there's actually more that you need to see coming from both people, if it is two people involved here, in order for you to make like the greatest decision uh, for you, okay? What's currently happening for the other person? What's currently happening for the other Ooh. Okay, a lot of cards flipping over here. We have the Fool, which is Aries energy. I feel like this person is currently wanting to do something different. Um, take a different standpoint on something. Like changing up the way that they normally do things. This person is, is really at a point where they're wanting to, I feel like, peel back the layers for you. Um, because coming across like really cold and, and mental probably hasn't gotten them the love that they have wanted. The genuine love that they've wanted. Because in order for you to receive this kind of genuine, deep love, you have to truly be genuine and deep. 
honestly and I don't feel like this person has opened up and given all of themselves and, and really shown vulnerability so I feel like this person is wanting to show some vulnerability in this situation in order to like um, win you guys over I feel like this person does want to win you over this is Aries energy here wanted to be more childlike um, more free spirited this is what's going on with them currently. What's influencing Cancer? The Eight of Swords, strong Gemini energy here. Some of you could be cuspers, Cancer, Gemini, cusp. But um, a lot of things are, I feel like from the past, are kind of getting in the way right now of how you proceed from here because you have this certain, this certain perception of this person already in mind from what you've already experienced with him and I feel like even though you still have a lot of love for this person just the way that they behaved with you before is really um, you know bothering you and, and it's something that you you're having a hard time like getting past and and a hard time feeling like okay things have changed with this person because you've seen this consistent like aloof behavior for so long that it's hard to believe that this person is doing anything other than that <clears throat> what's influencing this other person situation what's influencing this other person situation the hanged man hmm they feel like there's nothing else that they can do but to show you that they are willing to do something different I feel like this person is, um, they're really trying to take this introverted, um, introspective view of themselves to see, okay, like, what can I do better? What do I need to do to progress? Because I don't get any progression from this person. I see them trying to analyze and look inside for the answers. I don't see them doing anything currently. They have two majors here right now. One is like stepping out on faith, taking a leap of faith, and one is like being stuck. And I think they're stuck and basically not doing anything is because they're used to being this way. They're used to like really uh, taking an analytic standpoint on things and not really functioning from their heart space. So it is kind of hard for them to like really open up and do something different. I feel like they want to though, but they're taking some time out to kind of reflect. Okay. So that is what I feel like with them, but I'm feeling like you guys really need to hear something from this person. You really need for them to show and prove at this point in order for things to progress because I see you are here stuck as well. So, yeah. What's coming in for Cancer? What's coming in for Cancer? The star healing. Soulmate. Aquarius energy here. Hope. I think you guys are definitely trying to be positive and hopeful in your situation. Um, opening up opening up and allowing things to flow naturally uh, Aquarius of course is the water bearer so they you know they're usually the type of people that try to bridge the gap and, and try to be open-minded you know and think logically about situations as well from both sides so I see you guys also changing your perspective on things and not just relying solely on what happened before with this person as an indicator of what's going to happen now. <clears throat> what's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? The Knight of Pentacles. Oh yeah. Taurus energy. Slowly but surely, this person is awakening. Um, it's not going to be a fast process. This is going to be something really kind of slow because, again, this person is a brainiac, okay? <laughs> I feel Gemini Libra energy is so present here, and I feel Aries Pisces energy um, is here as well. could also be Taurus for sure, but um, this person really likes to get all of their ducks in a row before they make a move, and I see them doing that, but it's not 
going to be a fast process, guys, okay? What is the outcome here for Cancer? What is the outcome here for Cancer? Okay, that one to jump. Ooh. Then we have Judgment there, Scorpio energy. Having a very important decision to make. Um, one of the more important decisions that you will have to make in your life because with judgment comes longevity one way or the other if you decide that this is not the person for you then you won't be with this person for a long time if you decide that this is the person for you then again you will be with this person for a long time okay um, because the judgment is like the rebirth of something so when you re when something is reborn then it takes some time to play out okay so just keep that in mind that there is a new cycle getting ready to take place in your life one way or the other guys okay what is the outcome here for the other person what is the outcome for the other person five of cups missed opportunity having regrets maybe this person takes too long again Scorpio energy they take too long quite possibly and the opportunity with you guys is a missed one okay so that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon Bye now.